Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Valeria, you can call me Val. Today, I'm back with a new video. Um, on today's video, I will be showing you what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, I got it recently because, well, it came out recently. So yeah, I just got it like um, about two or three weeks after it came out. But <laughs> if you want to know about the specs, it's 256. It is color of deep purple. And uh, I just have a case from Caseify on it right now at the moment with this charming smile pop socket. I'm not going to be doing a screen record because I feel like when I watch for videos or look for videos of what's on my iPhones, I always like how they just show it like on the actual phone and not just on the screen record. So I'm just going to be doing it that way um <laughs> well i hope y'all enjoy the video and without further ado let's just get started okay so i don't have the always on display turned on so you can actually kind of see me through there but i just tap the phone and this is how my lock screen looks like i can show you how the always on display feature looks like just give me a second so for that you just go to always on turn it and then that is the always on display right now is turned on off but as you can see you can actually see the screen and then when you press it it turns on um here on my lock screen i just have the time it's 401 as you can see i have the rain widget and then i have my boyfriend snap there <laughs> i have this small little widget i guess that says amor vincit omnia that just means love conquers all. And if you see a little blinking, you can't actually see that in real life. I think it's only visible on camera because it may be trying to detect my face for the face ID. Then over here, it's just, you know, the camera flashlight. So, I have it, like, customized my own way. I used three apps I used the most in order to do this with shortcuts, top widgets, yeah. Anyhow, as you can see, I have the calendar, so it just gives me the day, day 319 from 365. And then week 47, it's Tuesday, you know, it's just the basic stuff a calendar may tell you. Then I have this little list, to-do list, it just says today, or drink water, smile, finish homework, and read a book, and I can actually check the little boxes off once I do each of those. And as you can tell, I have not checked any boxes, but, you know... I can go ahead and check the drink water and the smile one and the, yeah, I need to finish some homework. Then I have TikTok. I have a little picture of the moon in black and white as the cover. Then I have the YouTube logo with, well, if you open it, you go to YouTube. Then I have the camera. So if you're interested in the camera, well, I feel like they've added like the, I think it's action mode. Yeah, they have added action mode. I've not used that yet, but... Other than that, hello, um, it is just your camera and you can adjust however you want your settings, the quality of the video or photo to be like. Um, and then I have Snapchat, I have it with a little heart cover. I have Instagram with this little smiley face. Um, <laughs> I have Spotify. Right now on my Spotify, I... Wait, current... You should go follow my Spotify, y'all. This is it. <laughs> if you want to follow my Spotify. This is the playlist that has the most likes. It's not my best playlist. I feel like if I had to choose one of my best playlists, it would either be this one, just because it's like oldies music, and then this one, because, you know, it's just more modern pop music. I have like 14 or 15 playlists in public. I like to think that I have good music taste because, you know, I do. I do actually. <laughs> then I have Visco. Visco is just your, you know, normal app. Almost everybody has it. Um, if you don't have it, you should download it because you can just post pictures. It's not like Instagram. You can just upload them and have them for yourself. Other people can watch them if they want to or it's not like with likes or anything. I mean, they can start, but you can go follow it if you want. That is my username. I'm not here to promote myself. I'm just showing y'all what I have on my phone. Sorry if it seems the other way. And I have Pinterest. I have my WhatsApp here. 
Then I have my mail with this little mail icon that I found on Pinterest. You can actually find these icon apps on Pinterest to make it like more aesthetic, you know. Then this little thumbprint just leads me to Google. Then I have my alarms with little, you know, red alarm clock. I have three alarms, but I never use them. Then I have this other widget that's just a quote. It says, I dreamed a lot when I was a child, but now I just want to get... Oh, okay. I don't actually type in the quotes. It just gives me random quotes each day. So that's the quote of today, I guess. Um, then I have my YouTube studio. It's just an app for creators, for YouTube creators to see like their analytics and how their YouTube channel page is going and extra tips that YouTube may give you. Then I have Netflix. I have... I I like to use Netflix whenever I'm at school and I'm bored and I'm not doing anything and when I'm done with my homework I just watch Netflix silently. Then I have messages that I barely ever use. I have phone, I have Imaging Edge. I use Imaging Edge to pass the videos or photos from this camera to this phone whenever I want it. I have my photos app, you know, it just takes me to photos. Then after that I have shopping. So on the shopping section I have Airy. I have Depop, y'all can go, yeah, y'all can go follow my Depop if you want. I have not uploaded any clothes for you to shop, but I might in the future. I have some pieces that I never use, so I might sell these on here, so I don't know. If you want to be notified, my username is just C-H-E-V-E-Z, my last name. Shop, shop is a very good app to track like your online orders. It gives you almost an accurate timeline on when your packages will be arriving. I use this all the time with all of my packages. It's like almost always very um, accurate. I have Gymshark. I love Gymshark. You should definitely get some Gymshark if you haven't. <laughs> this is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just on my personal opinion. I love Gymshark. Then I have Remind. Remind is good for school. Some teachers use it. Some don't. But, like, honestly, they just tell us to, like, download Remind so that they can remind us of stuff, but they never actually use it. So, it's just kind of sitting there now. <laughs> and then I have Strava. That is for running. I don't use it much. Very cold outside, and it's almost gonna... I feel like this weekend is gonna snow, actually. Then I have Google Drive. I just use that to, like, watch my photography pictures because I take some pictures, and then I just can come here and... Select like a pure portrait and then just open it. Yeah, I can just open it. <laughs> Photomath. Everybody needs to download this app if they don't have it now because Photomath can really help you with your math when you're in class. <laughs> then you have Google Docs. Well, I have Google Docs. And then I have Google Classroom. I have Be Real. I never use it. I've used it like three times, but I, honestly, I never use it. Then I have um, this ECU College app. And then I have Power School which is where I look at my grades. Okay, dokie. Then I have just the app library and all the extra apps that I never use. I never use, which is why they're in the library. You can pause it or slow it down if you want to be like more in detail on what they are, but I don't use them, so. And then over here, I have some widgets. So I have a clock widget with the date and then I have my maps widget, which it just takes me to maps. Then I have Discord. I use that to communicate with my cousin. Hi, shout out to him <laughs> if you're watching this. Then I have my snappity snap code. And then I have Allison. Not on purpose, but I still have the Allison. <laughs> it's just the photos folder widget thing, you know? Whenever I just search for the apps or on this page, I just swipe down and then, then just search whatever app I'm searching for. Because I generally don't like to have these over here because I never use them. That is my phone. Again, the apps I used the most was top widgets and shortcuts. You can find shortcuts on your phone because it's supposed to be downloaded already with it. So if you have not, if you have erased it and if you want to change like the the covers of the little app icons, then I suggest you re-download it and you can use that. You can search on YouTube a tutorial on how to make your covers like this. These other widgets I just used top widgets you know which you can like create and select the font and everything and then you just save it you add the widget and you choose which widget you want to add widget <laughs> sorry if i'm saying it weird i'm sick <laughs> that's all i have for y'all today um this is the case if you want a closer look at it i can also take it off so you can look at the color of the phone so this is how the deep purple looks it is a deep purple indeed it just changes 
changes with the ah! no <laughs> it just changes with the lighting really um yeah but yeah and if you're curious about the dynamic island as well it i barely notice it to be honest like it's not a, of much use in my opinion like i can just like press it whenever i'm playing songs and the song appears or a clock appears but it's not really like to be honest anyhow that was it for today i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later bye i love you